Sun Records. Sun Records. Not a sign. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. Greenwood Park. I'll be there in 10 minutes. Yeah, I'm at the crime scene now. Yeah, Mia Hopewell, age 18. Yeah, it seems like she's on her way to college. Headset on, poor girl didn't see it coming. Yeah, we're gonna send everything off to the lab now. Yeah. All right, thank you. Sorry, Jan, one more minute. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. Um, me and Hobo's parents have been informed. Yeah, they're, they're in Australia celebrating their 10th wedding anniversary. I know, right? To hear that and be so far away. Okay, yeah. No worries. Yeah, please, yeah, please keep me updated. All right, thanks. So what do we know about the investigation so far? Mia Hopewell's body was found in the exact same location as another teen who was strangled to death by the figure five years ago. Only the murderer would know where the previous victim was found. Could this be a copycat killer or maybe the figure himself? Mr. Jackson Belmont is the lead suspect in this case, but a copycat killer hasn't been ruled out. After the murders took place, the figure was shot by police presumed dead. He murdered Simone Nelson, Trinity Hammond and Eugene Richards Brown. Teen has been found strangled to death in Greenwood Park. I urge the public not to approach Mr. Dalton, but to call 999 as soon as possible. Wanted posters have been put up around the local areas, as well as more offices going door to door.
Hey, Mama. Hello, Grace. Are you excited for tonight? Oh, I can't wait. Oh. Is that the dress you're going to wear? Yeah, do you like it? Yeah. Thanks. It's a bit short, no? Oh, don't worry, I'm wearing leggings. Oh, okay then. This one's for you, Mom. Oh, thank you. Oh. Just got the phone. So I'm gonna go over there, and if that's okay, that's all right, and I'll just do it there. Yeah, then we can just, you know, it's fine. Yeah, okay, okay, that's great. Yeah, your journey to a healthier lifestyle starts today. You're welcome. See you then. I've got a half day. Wait till you see what I'm wearing tonight. It's so exciting. <laughs> Listen, I don't mean to be rude or nothing, but why is she even coming? Like, do you remember the time she tried to get me fired? Like, who does that? <laughs> okay then, yeah, great. i see you tonight. I'm just so glad I parked at the train station to just get straight into my car. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay.
literally just got off the train now. Let's get into the car. Listen, I've stopped off and got some food. <laughs> You're never gonna guess who showed up tonight. Ready to hit the roads. Okay, so we definitely think that she was killed in her car <coughs> and brought back here. Let's have a look at the pictures. Okay. Yeah. We've been dragged very for a minute. Stone. Yeah, the, the body's been taken to the lab now. Yeah, it seems that the body was taken from a car and brought to the scene. Yeah, she had the driving license. Miss Grace Price. Okay, yeah. Well, we're almost done here, so... I'll be back to the station in a minute. All right, thank you. Okay, Jan, let's wrap it up. That's nice of you, but I can't, can't really stay. stay for tea. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. But look, if you remember anything or you just want to talk day or night, here's my card. Okay. Now, the lab's almost finished with Grace's things, but I managed to. I mean, it looked new. Oh, that's so good. I'm, I'm just coming back for Mrs. Price's now. 
Don't come back to the office, why? Two weeks? You, so you're taking me off the case? This has got to be a joke, hasn't it? We're right in the middle of the murder investigation. Why are you wasting time speaking to me? The figure's out there choosing his next victim. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I heard you. Yeah. Local man has been released without charge. Mia Hopewell and Grace Price were both killed within days of each other. Our thoughts are with the victims' families at this difficult time. Yeah, I had it at school. <laughs> Forgot about me already, have you? It's stone. Yeah. Wait, wait. You take me off the case, and now you want my help trying to find the paperwork. Everything is where I left it. No, no, no. I'll leave it all down to you guys. I mean, it's your case now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'll enjoy my two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, same to you. Stone was ruled unfit to continue the investigation. She left via the back entrance to avoid the press. We now know that Marlon Underwood has an alibi for his whereabouts, so he has been ruled out of the investigation. The hunt for the figure continues. DCI Stone, over. Over. Please change battery.
Yeah, it's me. I need a favour. Yeah, yeah, never mind what they've said to you. Look, I need you to call the press office. I've got an important statement to make. Well, seems like you guys should have kept me on the case after all. <laughs> Bye. I know who the figure is. Please hold the photos. Thank you. Last night, this murder investigation changed. We now know the figure's identity. Jackson Belmont was an alias, and I can now formally reveal Mr. James Knox has been unmasked as the figure. Mr. Knox, we now know, was the groundskeeper for Greenwood Park for 15 years. We are not sure if he's linked to any other crimes that have took place in the park over the years, but this hasn't been ruled out. Knowing that his face will be made public, he is now on the run. We urge the residents of Greenwood and the surrounding towns not to confront Mr Knox, but to dial 999 as soon as possible. Now that we have a face and a name, this is now a manhunt. Our thoughts are with the victims' families. Justice will prevail. Simone Nelson, Trinity Hammond, Eugene Richards Brown, Mia Hopewell, and Grace Price. Can I reassure the residents of Greenwood? The figure is out there, but it's only a matter of time before he is caught. That will be all.